Well, when a common goal is shared, unity is strengthened by diversity. So that's the mission of 333 Arts, a fully volunteer-based organization right here in the Bay Area. And as we celebrate the Lunar New Year, I'd like to introduce you to an Asian-American muralist helping transform Oakland's Chinatown and other parts of the Bay Area as well. Along Willow Pass Road in Concord sits a parking structure beaming with a celebration in art. It's in honor of the Lunar New Year, a rabbit full of bright colors radiating hope in what would otherwise be a dark space. This mural coming to life through the strokes of Asian American artist Emily Dean. I really just try to use public art as a place where um, I can create something that everyone can access and everyone can appreciate. Emily is a full-time muralist roaming around the country and world to add colorful stories to new places. She has hundreds of widely regarded works around the world, but one of her most notable is this piece in Oakland's Chinatown that she did with the Dragon School, a community art program that dissolved just a few years ago. She painted an Asian woman with um, swallows flying around her, and it was a great experience because it kind of like became like almost like part of the fabric of their neighborhood. For Emily, her work empowers her. She says it has been challenging at times in her career to be a young woman and a person of color in a historically male-dominated industry. But being underestimated fuels her passion to continue to paint, knowing she can pave the way for all kinds of people and artists. I think there's always room for more diversity in like the arts and also in like the public art realm. Me as an Asian American artist, um, helping create things that the community feels inspired by. With this art in Concord, volunteer artists came together to bring the Zodiac sign to life. The emerging artists were mentored by Emily, and it's all made possible because of a contribution by the Brendan Mann Foundation. Together, they created this, a tribute to hail in the year of the rabbit from the Chinese Lunar New Year calendar. My parents are Chinese immigrants, as are you know many people to um, come to America. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's about like um, both homecoming and um, just like the sense of belonging and family, uh, but also like new beginnings and new opportunities. Like my, my own parents had um, a lot of opportunity in the U.S. and so I'm just really grateful for that and want to honor my ancestors and like my own path, Asian American. With its design symbolic of a red paper cutting, traditional of Chinese culture, on the rabbit's body, the four flowers signify its place in the Chinese zodiac cycle. With each mural she creates, Emily sees it as a responsibility. To her, it is a way she can impact the world by giving an opportunity to connect to something new and learn more about the people we share our community with. Uh, we're all just trying to get by and, you know, hopefully that means, like, you know, uh, discovering the beauty of each other and of our, of our backgrounds. In this parking lot, this red rabbit is a shining reminder of the gift of what a new year can be for us all and what can happen when we come together to create a shared light in a dark space. So Emily told me the mural itself does not have a name, but she says after learning that one of the volunteer artists that helped her paint this mural had a pet rabbit that recently passed away, they named this rabbit you see here after that pet. So this is Riley. So if you're in that garage, definitely check out Riley. All right, so joining us now is Sage Loring, the founder of 333 Arts, kind of the brain behind all these projects that we see across the Bay Area. I've been so impressed with all the work you guys have been doing. Um, I was intrigued by this program because I saw you guys on Instagram and mm -hmm. just all these great projects happening right in my backyard in Walnut Creek yeah. and Concord. So tell us more about 333 Arts. Well, 333 Arts is a um, nonprofit program that uses collaborative art to connect people. Mm -hmm. and that's the easiest way to, to explain it because <laughs> it's a program that, as you saw, paints a lot of beautiful murals around mm -hmm. the Bay Area and beyond. And we do this with guest artists. As you saw, Emily Ding, she's a dear friend of ours and a wonderful artist. And these guest artists, we, we, we utilize them to, and invite um, uh, just volunteers, the public, to come out and participate. It's just a really great time for people to come together, meet each other, and have an experience. Absolutely. And, I mean, I saw the volunteers working on this project. Yeah. And they're also learning something, too. And it's a way to get involved in your community and beautify a space. So how do you find these spaces to curate these pieces at? It's a lot of work. You know, the nice thing is public art is uh, such a powerful thing. And it's really just asking people permission, you know, to utilize their wall and say, hey, listen, we're a nonprofit. We get 
get funded by donations, by mm -hmm. grants, sometimes by commissions. If you can't afford to help us pay for it, can we have your wall? We want to invite some people out here mm -hmm. in the community to paint with our guest artists, and we'll do something really lovely. And like I said, it, the, the leave behind is beautiful art, but it's really about just connecting people. A lot of times strangers will come together, first time they meet, and they exchange you know, numbers Amazing. and uh, social media, and they're just you know, friendly afterwards. And a lot of these are emerging artists as well, yeah. so it helps launch their career. Absolutely. And this particular project that we were shooting in Concord yeah. with the zodiac sign of the rabbit, it was actually funded by the Brendan Mann Foundation. Yeah, they are a great. Mm -hmm. Brendan Mann Foundation, they do a lot of community work, and the owner, the founder, Johnny Brendan, is a huge fan of art and mm -hmm. public art. So we lucked out with that. Yeah. They offered that safe space for us, covered parking garage. It was raining one day. <laughs> Um, we had just, a lot of rain when you guys yeah. were planning this, yeah. And uh, I, I mentioned Emily Ding is a great friend, and since um, in California, uh, Lunar New Year is now a holiday in the mm -hmm. state, we've been waiting for a time that Emily could lead one of these, and this was perfect for her, perfect opportunity. Wonderful. So yeah. if people want to get involved with 333 Arts, you don't have to particularly be an artist, right? No, actually anybody can. That's what's yeah. so different about public art. Usually people, they're just um, they're average people walk by like, how did that get done? I could never do that. Well, we have an opportunity for you just to come out and participate. You don't yeah. have to have any type of art skills because we'll take care of that. It's just there to be involved. And at the end of the day, the artist will clean up any work to just leave it looking kind of nice, but it's still your artwork. Yeah. What's the next project you have? The next project we have, well, it's actually going to be, it's a really big one. I don't really want to reveal it now, but okay. again, the so Brennan, stay tuned. Yeah, the Brennan Man Foundation also is so impressed what we what, what we did before. They are helping us do a huge oh, project. Cool. It's in Concord. Okay, in Concord. Yeah. So if you're out in the East Bay, maybe maybe I'll show up too. Yeah. That would be nice. <laughs> All right. Well, Sage Loring, the founder of 333 Arts. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to see what you guys do. Thanks, next. man. I appreciate it. All right, Jocelyn. Don't need